Tennessee in the course algebra one practice test. This is question number 52. It says a sequence is created from the function 3n plus 1. Uh, when you think of a function, a function is kind of like a machine. You put in an input and you get a specific output depending on what you put in. So in this case, what they're asking you to do is to use the 3n plus 1. That's your machine. The n represents the position of the term in sequence. That means uh, position of the term is refers to where it is. If it's the first term, then the n would be 1. If it's the second term, it would be 2, and so forth. The sequence does not begin at 0, which means there's no 0 term of the sequence. It starts at naturally 1, just like it's, not, uh, it's an actual natural number sequence. Which list represents the first five terms of the sequence? Now, don't look for 1 here to start it out. We're going to plug in 1 uh, for n. So all I'm going to do is rewrite this as 3 times 1 plus 1, because this is the first term in sequence. The second term in sequence would be 3 plus 2. And then you do 3 times 3. And then you do 3 times 4. All the way to 3 times 5. So I'm just going to put the 1 in. So this is me plugging in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into the sequence. These are my answers. Uh, so this is my input. Here's my output, 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. So that looks like answer G for number 52. So 52 is G. It's really simple. Don't get weirded out by the fact that it says does not start at 0 or that sort of thing. Just plug in your input, get your output.